Hi, right, today we're going to be taking a review of Celebrations Patriot American Tea. I guess that's what this one's called. On the tag here. This one is, these colors don't run. Which is nice, I like that. And the Celebration Company, the t-shirt designs are very, very Patriot themed. I mean, they sell other ones there. Like, Wild Wall ones, most I ones. But a good majority of their products of t-shirts are very heavy Patriot USA American themed designs, which you know I love that. It's great. So yeah, put it up over at Walmart for let's see if the camera can focus there. Four ninety seven, so under five hours. So I mean, where can you get a free t-shirt for under five bucks? Now I know of some stupid person in the comments gonna be like, dude, Fuyats, you're fat. No, I'm a skinny guy. Hey you go outside, look to your left, look to your right, go to the McDonald's, look to your left, look to your right. Go to Walmart or Target or somewhere, look to your left, look to your right. What do you see? You see a lot of big heavy, you know, people. You don't see that many skinny people, right? Yeah. So I don't know why these stores are selling all these little teeny tiny like little itty bitty infant clothes. For adults, I mean, you like, and you like, yeah, there's no way that person's gonna fit into a small, a medium. You're looking like an Esther, 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 5X large right there. You know what I'm saying? But the reason why I buy, like, my t shirts a little bit bitter, so maybe I'm like a 2X, but I'll buy a 3X. Reason why? They're 100% cotton. When you wash them, hello, what's gonna happen? I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. They're going to swing because they're cotton. So I buy a 3X. When I wash and dry it, guess what? It's going to fit me perfectly like a 2X. If I buy a 2X, you know, take the flesh, cut the tails off, wear it nice, you know, clean flesh, wipe right off the hanger. It fits me. When I wash it, it's going to swing from a 2X down to a 1X, you know, or an extra large, you know. That'd be someone that's like, okay, they're large. Maybe they buy large, right? It fits them, right? They go, they wash it, they dry it, they put it on the next day or something. It doesn't fit. You know why? It's swaying in the wash! Because that's what Kyle be doing in the wash and on the line and stuff and the dryer, you know. So now, the stuff is a shirt that they can't wear because it's, guess what? After they wash it, it's a medium. They're not a medium. They're large. But no, let's not buy the extra large, knowing that after they wash and dry it, it's going to swing down to a large. From an extra large. No, they're going to buy a large. Flush off the hanger. Tiny wash and dry it. It's down to a medium. It doesn't fit them. They're out that money. They're out that shirt, you know. Or they could try squeezing into it. And be like, mm, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my head almost got in there. I feel like a turtle. Uh, 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 oh, it's like squeezing it over a watermelon. You know? And it's like all oh, tight and stuff. It's like... Dude, will you live in that shirt for like five or six years? Because, I mean, it's like all tight and stuff on you. Which, you know, it's a bad thing that a lot of these stores, like if you look at Walmart, Kmart, Target, uh, Myers, GameStop, Hot Topic, Hot Ways, all these stores are selling is like maybe small to large. Maybe, maybe, like... Two, two X shirts, like extra large or a one X, you know, or two X, you know. But shirts that's beyond it, like two X, three X. No, you gotta go and buy on the money app and freaking online. And you know, shirts, pants, the sizes. You those are clothes that you gotta go into a brand more store and try them on, cause you know, what I was saying was. Like a pair of jeans, let's just say for example, like you have a 36 inch waist jeans, right? Maybe a, I don't know, Bugo or something like that. Maybe, you know, there's, it's a little tight in the crotch area, right? So you go, you go, like, okay, Wanger brand, you know? Same size, 36 inch waist, right? Maybe, you know, they're too, a little too big in the legs. You know, where you got, Roll them up, roll them up, roll them up. 
If not, you like, whoop, fall on your face. It's like, no, I don't want to try off no surface and fall on my face. Because I don't know if there's going to be a pie that my face is going to be in. You know what I'm saying? You got to go and try clothes on. Because, you know, what it says on the tape, from one brand to another brand, it's going to be different. Just like with shoes and boots. I go in the store, I'm like, okay, this size feels pretty nice and comfy. But you know what? I'm going to move up just a half inch bigger. Why? Because in the winter time, guess what? You're going to put on fitter, heavier socks. You know, those winter socks. Not those summer, thin little EBT tight summer socks. But those big, old, fit, fatty, winter, you know, 32 below degrees zero type of weather socks. You know, that if your foot has to get stuck in the snow, your socks still dry, your foot's still warm. You kind of want to leave that little extra room. Like I said, with coats, hoodies, t-shirts, jeans, boots and shoes. Those are things that, you know, I'm not going to go online and be like, Oh, hey, they have it on Amazon. I'm going to buy it. No, those are things that, you know, you got to go and check. Because, you know, when you wash them and dry them and stuff, they're going to swing. Like I said, both brands, like I mentioned, on like jeans. Same size, but one might fit you a little bit different than the other one. You know, both of them be the same size. You know what I'm saying? Of course you know what I'm saying, because I just said it. So, yeah. But yeah, anyway, back to this shirt. Let's see if we get the can't see focus here. So, yeah, made in Honduras. Honduras? Wow, I'm not even sure where this company... Where this uh, place is made at. You know. Because usually when I buy shirts, it's like, hey, it's made in Taiwan. It's made in China. It's made in Mexico. It's made in Indonesia. But this one, Hordoias? 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 Yeah, I never even heard of this place before. Because, I mean, if I look at the taste on most of my shirts, they say, made in China. Made in Taiwan. And some of them now that I'm noticing will say, Made in Mexico. Made in Indonesia. But, yeah. So the company is not a USA-made company that, you know, manufactures their products, but the company is based in here in America. Uh, where is it? Where is this company located? I know it has something that I think told me where it was. Located. I don't know. But I know the company is here in the USA, but the shirts and clothing line is actually manufactured in some foreign third world country, you know, type of stuff. Which is kind of bad, because I mean, the company is all about American patriotism, you know, type of stuff, which is nice and awesome, but, you know, they just outsource it, which is kind of a bad thing. But yeah, anyway, a free X shirt for under five bucks, you know you can't get a shirt like this. I mean, like I said, over at, you know, Hot Top and stuff, they're charging you like 23 just for a small and a medium. A uh, SLR shirt for free X, you're going to be shelling out like 40, 50 bucks for that. Now I clue what you got to shell out to pay, you know, like the $7 shipping charge, because of course they can't have them in the stock, on the wax, in the store, you got to buy them online only. And then they jack the prices up for the size. Now I'm going jack the prices up for the bigger sizes. But you also got to pay that stupid, ridiculous shipping and handling processing fee. And then you got to be waiting two weeks for them to ship it. Which is BS. Yeah. It's not like, hey, you can just go to the store be like, oh, I like that design. It looks nice. Wow. It says that it's in my size. Try it on. Okay. It fits. We up to, to cover. They go... Beep, beep. There's your prize. Hand the money. Walk out with your shirt. You know. Nope. Don't know why stores would be stupid. It's be like, we're only going to sell small, extra small, and extra, extra, extra small shirts. If you look at your clientele, your customers that's going into your places, you don't see anyone that's be fitting in an extra, 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 extra small shirt. It's like, you know, triple X to quad X. The opposite in the wide, bitter, as to the large department. 
I never seen people go in there and be like, wow, this size small shirt is actually too big on me. I need it to be Esther, 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 Esther small. Do you have to have one that's an Esther, 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 Esther small? No, people are like, come on, an uh, Esther large for real? Yeah. But yeah, like I said, for a free arts that's, you know, hanging on the lap for under five bucks, yeah, definitely you got to put this shirt up, you know, big size, on the lap, over at Walmart for under five dollars, and you ain't paying no stupid extra large size fee along with the processing and shipping hand fee and waiting for them to ship it out. Oh, uh, yeah, definitely, yo. Walmart's where it's at. So, yeah, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, hit that like button, and leave a comment. Alright, thanks. Bye.